Okay, welcome back. This is tape number three. And in tape number two, I was about to cut and I had marked off my straw. And so I'm going to cut all right in two places. Okay, and I cut that in um had marked that before, and don't throw these little pieces away because I can use those as uh, for other things later on, all right? So I want to waste that. Now, I joined this piece, and I need to also join a piece for the bottom, all right? Now, you know how to do that already. Why don't you tell me, how far down do I want to cut this? That's right, a half inch, okay? I'm going to do that. And how do I make sure it stays once I um, put it together. Well, one way of doing that, obviously, is to put the glue on there. And what I said before was, like, I like to put the glue uh, on in an area where it doesn't get on, onto my drawing. And I'm doing this only so that you can see what I'm doing here. I don't want to do that outside of your eyesight, out of your view. Okay. And I'm putting that on. And I told you then that this is uh, blue is initially hot, cools very fast. I can wait till it cools. Take off the excess. All right. Well, Mr. Rivers, why why is the excess important? If you have excess, excess, uh, you will be graded. That will be graded against you. You don't want the excess glue. This is not a, a an idea of how much glue you want. I'm centering my piece where the part that I joined together is in the center of my um project. Why? I want that strength in the center, that piece that I put together in the center. And here again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark off. Where is my mark marker? Okay. I don't readily see it and I don't have time to look for it. There we go. Okay. Now, Okay, I'm at an end point here, and this is going to be on an angle. And this one is going to be on an angle. Okay, I marked it. Now it's time to cut. Now it's time to cut. Okay. All right. Now, we have done bottom, top, and now I need to do the two side pieces. What I'm going to do is cut off a piece that's going to overlap. What do you mean by overlap? Well, at the top of the bridge, I want a portion, oh, almost a half inch on either side. Almost a half inch on either side. And I'm getting my marker to mark it for me so I know where my, it is. Okay. And I'm going to cut. I'm only going to work with one side. And what I'm going to do, as I joined the two long pieces earlier, I'm going to join this small piece with this larger piece here. And I'm going to put it in, and I'm going to bend it down. That's all I'm going to attempt to do first, okay? And I'm going to do that in such a way. Remember we glued before? Okay. I'm going to do that now. All right. I cut it. You remember how I cut it. I'm going to put a little glue on it. Okay. And... I have my glue. And what I'm going to do now is stick this in here. Okay. I'm going to let that glue and get nice and firm in there. I have that side. And I'm going to do the same to the opposite side, right? I'm going to have an overhang here about a half inch over here. A half inch at the bottom. I'm going to mark that off. Okay. Then I'm going to cut her up as I did before. Okay. 
And as we've seen before, I want to cut this about a half inch. We've done that before. I'm going to put a little glue on there. We've done that before. Don't need a lot of glue, guys. And I'm now going to stick that in there. What I'm doing is twirling this together so it'll it'll fit it. Now I'm gonna let that dry, okay? And we're gonna stop now because we're over five minutes. And that was tape number three.